Friends, in the previous video we worked with uh, road parameters. In this video we are going to work with uh, controllers. Uh, but before that let me go to the road groups here. We have worked with name, named roads. Let's go to the road groups. And here we have the road middleware. And we create a group. So we have two roads in here. And we add this middleware to the of these two roads or we can add more than two as many as we want the same thing here is with controllers if we have if these roads here these two roads are working with this controller we can say road controller and create the group for the roads here also for the subdomain and for prefix here we have road prefix and we add road here so every road inside this prefix is going to be admin slash in this case users or let me copy this and create that one so let's go to the roads web roads and let's create this so we prefix this to admin and also let me copy cut this one and paste it inside here and I'm going to return I return just the string to say all users okay and here we have and I'm going to say users here we have route get users ID and here we have a get all the users now if i navigate so let's save it and if i navigate to the browser to the slash users we have 404 not found because this need to have an admin prefix before so let's add that one so add the admin and slash users hit enter and now we have all the users so we need to add we have added the prefix here and all the roads inside here so this two have this prefix before and after that the, the url then point they have so for the users with id now we need to say slash admin slash users slash the id for example two and now we have the users the user two displayed here and if we go again here to the roads we have also road name prefixes so in this case we have a prefix for the url so slash admin slash users in uh, this case is for the named so we see we can add a name here for blog let's add also a name here and say uh, users.index for example and here i'm going to add also the name to be users.show and now if we go here let's copy this one and duplicate and say not roadblock but added this users index let's copy paste it here and also let's copy and paste here and say users show now for this one users show also here we have the id so let's add that parameter here so we can because we have only one parameter we can say something like this so for example id and add one here and let's save it also we need to change so all users and here this is going to be single user save it go 
go to the browser go to the welcome page and we have all users here if i click we go to the admin users and also if i click to the single user we go to the admin users one okay we added this users show and users index now let's add the name the prefix name so let's copy this one go here when you say name road prefix name also add the name admin now and if i save this is not working now so refresh we have road users index not defined so users index is not defined because we added the name up here a prefix name so we can say admin users index now admin users index and also admin users show because we added the admin here admin dot okay and this name here is coming after this one after admin dot and we have this users index admin dot and users show okay so admin dot users index admin dot users show and with that now if i refresh go to the all users okay go to the single user okay now let's work with uh, controllers now controllers are a class that contains the logic for specific routes in the method called actions so in the controllers we have a method called actions and you see here we have uh, something like this for the all roads and is a better way to do this with the uh, controllers so let's save it something like this uh, right now we don't have any logic here so it's not a problem but when we have a logic we is better way to work with uh, controllers and you see here we return only the view welcome so if i just commented this one and uh, say here road get road view sorry road view and say slash and here we need to add that view so in this case is welcome let's copy this and paste it here and give it the name and if i save now this one is the same as this one okay so here we have three lines of code here we have only one if you only want to show that uh, view so to this when we go to this endpoint we need only to show this view that's it the right road but if we have some logic we can do with a closer function here or better way is to create a controller so let's create a controller let's open the terminal say php artisan make controller and i'm going to say let's say a user controller user controller and hit enter okay let's close this one now inside the app http we have the controllers folder and here we have this user controller and here we have the namespace and this request user request by default with laravel and the class with the name user controller the name we give it here and which extends the based controller here now as i said uh, controllers have actions and actions are class methods inside the controller class so let's create that method and say public because we need to use this in the web roads let's say public function and i'm going to say 
index and here let's return the just a string here all users right now so the same thing i have returned here all users sorry and now to work with uh, this controller in the web roads instead of saying something like this let's comment at this one i'm going to say uh, sorry i'm going to say a road get okay slash the same thing as we have here so slash users and now add a comma and here a brackets and we need to add so you see here an action we have the url which is this one and an action we need to add the controller the user controller user controller and say user controller class and after this we need to pass the method to use for this road and i'm going to use this method index so inside the parentheses let's say index okay let's give it a name so we call it uh, users index before so let's do the same thing right now and hit save now this one is going to be the same as this one but here we use the controller and we maybe we need to make some uh, logic in here and let's do the same thing for this route as well so i'm going to copy and paste okay and say users now here we need to add the id as well so let's copy from here and paste it users id and the id is uh, optional now here we need to change the method because this method is used for this route and let's say here uh, i'm going to create the show method and also the name is this name show so let's say show here and i'm not, go not going to add the where number id something like this let's leave it as it is and let's comment this one okay save it now we need to create this show method inside the controller user controller so let's say public again function show and here we expect the id and or it's going to be null because this is optional so let's say dollar sign id and it's going to be null by default and here we are going to return the same thing as we have returned here we can do more but for now let's return this user id if i save and go to the browser refresh go to the all users yeah I'll go to the single user is working okay friends so we re return this route into this one with the controller and also this one into this one and i think now we are more okay because we can make a logic in here and return to this one so that's it for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best friends